Welcome and thank you for joining me. In this clip I'm going to use MNOVA version 12 in a bit more detail than the previous clip to show you how to process, analyse and report a 1D proton spectrum. The data I'm going to use this time is located in the Mestranova datasets folder provided with the software so that you can also follow this example at your convenience. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to use the MNOVA data browser in order to find and open your datasets very easily. Go to the View and select Data Browser. We can choose in which side of the screen to place this panel. In this case, I'm going to dock it on the right side just by dragging and dropping. Now we just need to find the data in our computer and drag and drop it into the data browser as it says on the panel. I'm going to open the proton spectrum for this data set in MNOVA spectral window. The 1D proton spectrum is automatically processed. Zooming in, we can see that the peaks have been phased correctly, but the baseline needs to be improved. To do this, just go to NMR processing and use the processing tools provided. The first one we can use is the appetization and select a suitable window function such as the exponential one and change the value for the line broadening parameter. Click apply and then click on auto baseline correction to get a nice flat baseline. I'm now ready to carry out the analysis using the NMR analysis tab. I'm going to start by using the tools available on the right side and zoom in the spectrum to locate the solvent peak which is chloroform. Then use the reference tool and click on the solvent peak. Find our solvent reference through the solvents list to make sure we enter the correct chemical shift for the reference peak. Once the spectrum has been referenced we can use the auto multiplet analysis button to do peak picking integration and multiplet analysis in one single click. We can see how the chloroform peak has been recognised displaying the label in red and the rest of the peaks analysed. At this point we can review every single peak. To do this double click on any of the peak label to display the multiplets manager panel. The multiplet manager will give us the information details of the selected peak. We can use the blue arrows as navigation tools to review all peaks making sure that the results are correct. In this particular case we've got two protons overlapped but that's okay. There will be cases where we might have more doubts about multiplicity. In this particular case we can see a DTD, doublet triplet of doublets, on the left and an M multiplet on the right. We can select one of the two, for instance the DTD, and click on the Simulate Multiplet tool to see the simulation based on the results. If we think it does not match, we can manually change it for a suitable one. In this case, I'll just change it to the M of Multiplet. Moving on to the next peaks, we have this case with two overlapped protons, and we can split the integral into two. To do this, hover over the integral line until it is highlighted in red and then click on it and drag the blue vertical line to a suitable place where you want to split the peaks. We can see how the multiplicity of these peaks has changed to doublet of triplets and doublet of doublets. As we saw on a previous peak, we may not be too sure about this multiplicity, so once again I'll use the multiplet simulation tool. We can see how this does not match very well, so let's find out why. It seems there's a shoulder that has not been picked, so we can use the Add Multiplet Peak tool and add it manually. Since there is no local maximum there, I have to click the Shift key once to switch it to Free Peak Pick mode and click on the desired point to add the peak. This new peak gets automatically added to this group labelled as M. We can do the multiplet simulation and see how we have a much better fit now. 
Similarly, we can check the other peaks to make sure they are correct. This peak at 1.92 ppm is a water peak, so we can go to Peaks next to the Multiplet Manager and change the peak type from Compound to Solvent and I'll label it as 8DO. This peak will now be automatically excluded from the multiplets. Switching back to the Multiplet Manager panel, we can keep checking the rest of the peaks, but I can see they've already been checked. From the Multiplet Manager, we can also see how there are 24 nuclides, value which corresponds to the integral values of all multiplets. If I add the structure, the mole file, to the spectral window, we can see how now the total number of protons in the molecules is present. A total of 24 peaks too, which matches the number of found in the analysis. Now it's time to report our data and save the results. We can open the multiplet table directly through the analysis tab and also going to view tables and then select multiplets. Go to setup report and choose the desired or required journal format from the multiplets report and then click report multiplets to get the text box on the screen. Let's tidy up and resize all the boxes around the screen. Spectrum, multiplets report, structure. If you don't want to display the atom labels, you just need to double click on any of the atom numbers to bring up the properties window and deselect labels. We can also display the parameters by selecting the checkbox and then go to the parameters panel and click report to get the corresponding text box. You might also want to change the font in the text box. To do this, go to home and choose a suitable font and text size. Once satisfied with the results, go to file and save as the MNOVA document or, as before, a PDF report. I hope you were able to follow the whole workflow from the raw to the process data, analysis and reporting of the results. If not, give it another run through and see how you get on. Thank you very much and see you in the next session.